Okay, folks, we're going to pick up where we left off now. We added graphics to the car. We added the color balance menus to the car. We know the lasso tools. Let's just go through a few of these things. Let me get rid of this extra layer that we don't want. Today, we're going to learn how to do text. I want to add text to a car, and I want to show you how to wrap it around different elements of the car, and you can apply this to basically any aspect of any image in Photoshop. So if I take away the tiger, which taught you the transparencies, and it taught you how to use the eraser tools. This is the left window. We went into the levels. This is your front window. We also went into the levels. The headlights, we used the lasso tools and the color balance menus. The back rim, the magnetic lasso tool. And the front rim is also the magnetic lasso tool. And here's our car. Now we're going to learn a new step. Now, as you know, I teach all of my units through um, different layers. So each layer represents a different skill set. All right, and they're all in sequence, so you guys can go step by step to get up to uh, mastery right before certification. All right, so up to this point, we have just the car. Let me bring back all of my layers so we could take off where we left off. Take on where we left off, rather. All right, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to change the color of text today, how to put it on different things, and how to move the text and make it like wrap around different parts of a car. And you can change the transparency of text and cut text. So let's start. I'm going to go to the T for text, obviously, go to the top layer, and I'm simply going to click, and I'm going to put the word, the best commodity in the world, which is free love, L-O-V-E, right? So I'm going to take the move tool, which is right here, and I'm going to move love, and notice layers that are text are cool because they name themselves. I love that. I don't know, it's less work for me as far as organizing. I want to make this word love kind of wrap around this fender here. It's done by going like clicking on the T again, highlighting love, and then you click on the text wrap tool, which is up here. You hit this drop menu, you get a whole bunch of different options. I want to, and they give you a visual of what it can do. This one's the arch, and you notice what it does? You can adjust the, the bend of the arch as well. I want it to really go around my rim, so I'll leave it as that. You can change it horizontally and vertically. Okay, in this case, I'm going to leave it kind of in zero. I want it to be, uh, you know, really symmetrical. So I'm going to hit OK. Click your Move tool, which is up here. And you can put the words, use your arrow keys as well. I'm using my arrow keys now. Whoopsie. You can use the arrow keys. And I'm going to put the word love right there. So that's one way you could do it. Okay. Another way, I'm going to put the word love up here in white. It's no problem. Same layer right here. Click the move tool, bring it up there. I can't see it, so I'm going to put it above here so I got some good contrast. Highlight it. Highlight the word again. And then you go to the text wrapping tool again, adjust the arc. Make sure it's the arc, which it is. And adjust it down again to a point where it's pretty straight. Right about at zero is perfect. And hit OK. Take this word and you can click the T again, T again for text, highlight it. This here is the color of the the, for, the front color, the foreground color. Click it once, and we're going to go up to here and change it to white. Whoops, right up here. Click the white, and now that word love is white. I can't see it because it's over white. I move it down. Now it's written over there, and I have the word love written over here. You can make it smaller by hitting Control T, and I've shrunk the word love over here, and I'll elongate it. So now it's big love. I'll make it a little smaller. Eh, not looking good. Love can't be stretched too much. It's a full letter word. A nice full letter word. Now, it's a little off still. Actually, that's about right. It follows this parallel line. That's legit. This is the part for text where you could put text anywhere. Let me see. I want to just show you one last thing with text, which is uh, for the people that want to go a little further. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to change it to black again. Now, love is black. I can't... I can't see it because it's on a black section, but I'm going to put the word love here. I'm going to go to edit, free transform. I'm going to stretch this word up real nice and large. And I'm going to put the word love here and put it on a little diagonal angle. Right about there. Uh, yeah. That's good. Move tool and apply. There's love. Lower the opacity of it a little bit and you can put it on the side of your car. So it's kind of like a, you know, like a hidden graphic. And you can also click your move tool. I'm sorry. Um, you could then click on the eraser tool. 
and what you're going to do is when you click on it it's going to say that this is going to rasterize the layer meaning that now it's not a text layer now it's a graphic layer that I can erase parts of so if I wanted love if I went into love and I wanted it to have like a scratch on the edge or something we learned the eraser tools already so I'm going to go to the eraser tool and I'll change it to like a number 39 is a decent Im image I'll just scratch up the love so it looks like it's been scratched a little bit things like that I'll hit the move tool again now love is like getting through fur and stuff and it's not such a templated looking piece of art I'll click on the eraser and I'm going to erase these edges a little bit and just kiss the edge you know, less says more sometimes but there you have it that's love right there okay um, I like that I think that's really tough um, this can be anything it doesn't have to say love it could say something anything you'd want appropriate or not it's uh... this is very much how you do it alright so now you guys understand exactly um... the layers you gotta name them so from now for now we have the text layers now which it's not a text layer anymore because i rasterized it if i want another text layer t for text let's put this up here i'll type the word hate because that's what happens after you make nice stuff and we'll put this down a little bit and now there's hate but I didn't rasterize it and I'm gonna go to edit free transform and I'll put it here for the haters right there move tool and apply there you have it so there's love and then there's hate and you can lower the opacity of hate because it's a little hard on the eyes that's fine why not and now you have love and hate and you have the tiger and you have a text layer and you've rasterized the text layer okay um, have fun with it and make your words relevant. Okay? Thank you.